state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review, on location. Feeding the world is not an easy chore. Making healthier food while increasing crop yields is even more of a challenge. For the past few centuries, the goal of the American farmer has been to produce abundant amounts of meat, grain, and vegetables for our consumption, and they've done a fantastic job. Recently, however, pesticides, detergents, antibiotics, and other harmful agents have found their way into our food supply. Our farmers want alternatives. Our ECNS soil and crop products stimulate and feed the soil biology that increases soil nutrient availability, decreases compaction, biologically detoxifies years of chemical buildup, increases soil, air, and water holding capacity, decreases erosion, balances soil nutrients, and increases crop yields and profits. Healthy alternatives are needed for the livestock sector as well. ECNS is different than other livestock feed additives. It is a multiple enzyme, a catalyst, and an organic electrolyte that influences chemical reactions to all body functions, improves reproduction performance, improves animal health, improves feed digestion, promotes shiny, slick hair coats, stimulates biological waste digestion with less odor, and creates proud livestock producers. When you are attempting to help alter the status quo in a system with a rich tradition, ideas are not enough. You must have proof. Over 100 controlled treatment crop and livestock performance tests have been collected over the last five years. 74% of all crop tests show an average of 10 to 15% increased yields, resulting in a 5 to $45 net return per acre. Specialty crops have greater yield responses and returns. The use of an organic, stable system is not simply about increasing crop yields. It's a major health issue as well. Tillage practices, high levels of chemical-based fertilizers, herbicides, fungicides, and insecticides have become too toxic for soil microbial life to thrive. People are beginning to be conscious of having too much chemical material in their systems and organic and sustainable agriculture are beginning to become popular and even grocery stores carrying nothing but organic materials are starting to show up. One of the more interesting decisions in this industry is where and how to approach these challenges. We have chosen to market products that stimulate and feed the soil food web rather than plant elements like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Soil elements generally very adequate, but not available to the plant's roots. A healthy, alive soil will increase plant element availability for profitable yields and produce a healthy, chemically free, nutritious food. For World Business Review on Location, I'm Lisa Chebotadioff reporting. We make the assumption that uh, dead soil would have microorganisms and enzymes basically put to sleep or dead. They could be put to sleep based on toxic materials that have put them to sleep. Many soil scientists would assume that uh, they're permanently dead, but there are in the soil dormant microbes that can be awakened and thus when awakened we refer to it as live. We have been working for approximately 15 to 18 years on this concept back before it was popular. Chemical treatment for soil supposed soil enrichment and for other chemicals for pesticides and insecticides and herbicides, all of these things have been an attempted answer for the last 40 to 50 years. But what we are finding is that rather than it being the total answer, it actually served to begin developing stress on the plants and stress on the final result of the product with various um, diseases and malfunctions beginning to show up. And back 15, 18 years ago, it definitely was not a popular subject to deal with. I'm happy to report, however, 
that today there's new interest. People are beginning to be conscious of having too much chemical material in their systems. And organic and sustainable agriculture are beginning to become popular and even grocery stores carrying nothing but organic materials are starting to show up. So it's a, a cutting edge new issue and I'm proud to be a part of it. We have the secret for building topsoil. Topsoil is generated only one way and that's when microbial life such as microorganisms uh, etc take in material, digest it, and then they deposit a material very much like earthworms do, castings or cast off. The material that they deposit is very fertile and available for the plants to take up and to use as a, an immediate plant food. Thus, we can expect a greater percentage of yield when we have that new topsoil or that material that the biological living microbes can produce. The beauty of nature is that we have a built-in system that even though we have for 40 or 50 years abused our soil with out of balance overuse of chemicals in an attempt to get greater production. In doing so, that overuse has actually created toxicity to the point now that we are seeing a number of products showing such signs of stress that they are malfunctioning. Microbial life, then, can come to the rescue. You see, the most toxic chemicals can actually be digested, and when the microbial life has finished with it, you have topsoil, perfectly balanced, perfect food for the plant. So the system can correct itself if we catch it in time, we can remediate toxic soil. We expect the public to believe our concepts or use our products. First, you have to test them and prove that they are functional. Thus, we have established a number of research projects where you will actually do a control side by side with a treatment and then compare the results, bottom line results, at the end of the season. For example, when writing the textbook, Organic Soil Conditioning, I included there over 1,500 different studies proving the benefit of microbial balance. In addition to that, in the book that was, um, that, that's called uh, Environmental Care and Share, there's about 156 pages there just relating to biostimulant and the effect it has on different aspects where we have life in the soil. In a world where population growth is a big issue, increasing crop yields in an organic manner makes a lot of sense.